Hi guys and welcome back to Betty's Simple Kitchen. In this channel, we make the simplest meal with ingredients that are readily available. Today, I would love to share with you a recipe of making your waffles fluffy by adding sparkling water to your butter. And this is how it goes. For this recipe, we are going to need three eggs that we are going to separate the yolk and the egg white and I'm going to whip the egg white because I'm not using baking powder the egg white is the one that is going to act as a living agent then a drop of vanilla extract or one packet of vanilla sugar a pinch of salt 50 ml sparkling water 250 grams all-purpose flour 150 ml milk, 125 grams sugar, 125 grams melted butter or margarine. And this is how the process goes. I'm going to start by separating the egg white from the yolk. I've already separated my egg white from the yolk and I'm going to whip this until it's stiff. So guys, I have finished whipping my egg white. This is how it looks. It's nice and stiff. And this is what is going to help our butter to raise when I'm making the waffles. So I'm going to set this one aside and continue with the process. On a separate bowl, I'm now going to whisk the egg yolk, I'll add a pinch of salt, a drop of vanilla extract, the sugar, and the soft butter. So guys, that's how the mixture looks like. And we are almost done, so the recipe is quite simple. So I'm going to add in the flour that I have already sifted, just to add in more air so that our waffles can become more fluffy. I'll add in a bit of flour and a bit of milk. This way, I'm going to avoid having a lot of lumps to my butter. <laughs> And now I'm going to add my sparkling water. So guys, we are almost there. The last thing is now to fold in the whipped egg white. So here we go. Just fold in carefully. I just don't want to over mix so that I don't deflate the air that is trapped in because this air is the one that is going to help us to get more fluffy waffles and that's what we are going for. You don't want to over mix. So guys, the next thing is I'm now going to let my butter chill for about one hour in the fridge. This way I'm going to give the butter time to rest, to stretch and for the gluten to get released. So, see you guys in one hour. So guys, one hour later, we are about to finish the process. Here's my butter. After I have chilled it, the consistent have changed a little bit. It's more thick. And this is what we are going for. As before, it was a little bit runnier than this one. For the first waffle, I always grease the waffle iron. I just <coughs> about the portioning it depends with the size of your waffle maker so just going to close it and when it's ready, it's going to go off. That's the first waffle. It looks good. Third 
that's how the waffles look like if you like it more crispier you have to leave it more longer that's how i like it i just like it light brown so guys because i love my waffles warm i'm going to try what i have made mm. i like it so guys if you want fluffy waffles this is the recipe to go for they taste amazing please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment until next time guys bye bye